Oh. I guess I have to <laughs> update the mod pack first. Um, hi, Superman X. Yes, I forgot there was an update. Um, manage um, mod pack versions. Now it should load there. Yeah. We are on V1.1. Uh, mine can to 3.18. Okay. Need to download that manually. I'm afraid it might remove other stuff that I added. I don't want to risk it. Um, welcome Vaza <laughs> to our stream. I announced on purpose. Wait, was it was 318, wasn't it? Yes. Mods. Nine colonies 318. That one is going to add a bunch of nice fixes. So we're going to say how that is going to play out in the stream. Or if it just breaks us <laughs> badly. I don't hope so. Um name mine colonies. 14 delete, 18 fine, launch the pack. There we go. Hi Strotala, how are you? I'm doing fine. We're starting up again. Just... Hi Ty Jr. <laughs> yeah, we, we're starting up again. Oh, I failed a little bit because I forgot that we just updated the server. So I gotta do that for a second. Uh, what version are you playing on exactly, by the way? Minix. What is the issue? 17? Yeah. What, what, is the, what are the issues you're running in exactly? Um, dum -de dum We're starting up. We're getting there. Sorry, it's some water while we're starting up. We have the screen. Can only be a matter of hours now. I love how always 10% is of the work is done in 90% of the bar, and then 10% of the bar is done later. He isn't grafting. I would have to to look into that. I can write that on my list. It was mainly I was actually wanting to do a bunch of new features today, starting to work. Not features, but more like balancing of the workers. But then I got held up the entire morning doing some bug fixing. I'm going to write the plantation crafting on my list there as well. Plantation crafting. My list is getting nicer. We're getting really close to... <laughs> We're getting really close to the first release, I would call it. Maybe it's like a first official Mind Colonies release where we say we are now feature complete enough to be considered a release and everything else is optional additions to the mod. Oh, that's neat, yeah. The th 318, ah, 318 is only some schematic fixes, yes. I've noticed that the miner for the Star Wars, Space Wars style we're using. And that, depend, that depends a lot on what kind of style you're using, Junior, because there is some more compact style, like the wooden style is a little bit more compact than the medieval style, for example. And I would guess like six times six chunks would be good enough. And uh, the other ones, oh, I'm still muted in Discord. Oh, sorry. Um, the other ones are a little bit more complex. Yeah, uh, I forgot to update my pack. 
Mm. Sam Adams. <laughs> I luckily did that before and <laughs> I did but quick. Yeah, Dwarven is, for example, super small. You could probably fix in a 4x4 four four chunk radius. Yeah, wooden is pretty small too. Yeah, wooden is in like 6x6 six six and then medieval I would say you need at least an 8x8 eight eight chunk radius to make a complete... Yeah. Yeah, and around 8x8 eight eight chunks I would say. But if you go with the dynamic claim which is the default anyway, um, you should be fine. Because that spreads out with the warehouse, uh, with, the warehouse with the town hall and with the other things uh, the Any barracks and guard things. towers so that should be fairly fine okay we're getting there we're getting there Soon. atlas atlas stitching is going still is the logging in stuff now working or stable by the way uh you mean less laggy or yeah since you disabled that quark feature Mm, I didn't disable. Oh, oh, I did disable. <laughs> I didn't test it. <laughs> All right. I just remembered that I reported it. But yeah, I did. I also disabled. Uh, you reported it to Vansky. Okay. That's a nice backlink, so you can fix it. <laughs> or complain that it's no issue or something like that. Hey, it depends always. There are a lot of things you have to consider, like how much decoration you want to have, how many roads and these kinds of things. Like there are things that definitely bloat, bloat it up, yeah. right? How many crafters do you need? Yeah, like if you want if, multiple. If you build every single building, then you need. Well, I'm still getting synchronization space, data error. Really? Let me try my updated page. I only updated the my colonies version though. You only updated my colonies, yeah, that's not working. Mm. <laughs> mm. Damn it. Mm. <laughs> Go to GT launch mod per version and update. Okay. Um does it remove Optifine etc. when I update it? Does one, anyone know it about GD Launcher? Does it remove my optional mods and stuff? Oh. Yes. Shader packs, resource packs, and mod. Uh. I'm just going to grab. Just going to grab those here. Make a short copy somewhere in my work. I'm going to put Optifine there too. Um, Optifine, there we go. Let's see if it breaks. Manage mod pack version. Okay. Um. Update mod pack. Let's see how that works out. So yeah, we're we're now in the chatting setting. Okay, where can I put this? Just chatting. <laughs> Okay, it seems to have kept Optifine in the in the mod pack. It seems only to take all the things that are part of the mod pack and keeps the other things behind. That seems to be somewhat well done at least. So that's useful to know as well, definitely. It's downloading the stuff. Although what is kind of not very smart is it re-downloads really all mods instead of double checking if the mods really changed, at least with a hash, right, of the char. That seems a little bit like an overkill. Um, yeah, I can double check on that. Dum de dum. I guess because of the stream, it's taking a little bit longer as well to up download all the stuff. The stream should be mostly upload, I guess. 
I don't know what kind of data Chili Longer might be needing to exchange. Now just your tax, your bank information, your name, everything. Yeah. The classics. Yeah. Essential data. Es es essential data for marketing purposes. And now, how, how do they say it? Just for improvements, set necessary statistics for the usage of the software, right? Yeah. Mi min minimum. If you if you click on the other ones, you're going to also sync all your other files, and they're going to use you as a direct stream of a peer per to peer network. They're going to use yeah. your PC for Bitcoin mining on the same in the same moment. <laughs> and it's, it's essential data. What like what is your opinion on the hash on the next hash of the Bitcoin network? That's an essential question to ask, isn't it? A valid question. Did you say you like consensus? <laughs> you made in a consensus agreement. It means we can use all your data and mine. Shirley is really attached to the items, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, my items. Yeah. I'm unsure if uh, Curse doesn't have something like that. Unsure, really. Yeah. And your PR is ready? <laughs> Great. Is it working fine? And did you find out about the uh, the mirror? Is there another was there another way or it's just only for new buildings? It's, it seems we were setting the mirror wrong in the building, but ah, the tile entity is correct. Okay, you could um, you could just add um, a check in there, right? Like get if the building still has old data, get it from the tile entity or something like that, and then store that data in not on read NBT because it could cause some weird chunk loading issues but where you use it like when you query it you check if it has it has a flag set or something like that potentially Yeah, I, I I never created a pack myself. I always only me message someone and ask, "Can you make a pack for me, please?" No, I mean you could have. You would need a flag somewhere, like a boolean with. Does this block have old data or something like that? But that's, yeah, was not very comfortable to do. Ah, it's your first 115 pack. Been, since we switched to 115, I switched over completely to 115 as well. Although I don't get much to actual play action mostly coding and a little bit of streaming it's actually the streaming is actually the way I found to have an excuse to be playing mine colonies actually because it's still somewhat productive <laughs> Ah, you're mainly playing bedrock. Ah. 
Yeah, I've never played Bedrock to be honest. I don't own any device for that. So yeah, I turned it off quickly to so I can enter my password safety safely. Um, but it's still loading. But yeah, I kind of don't like Bedrock because so many people are asking for mine colonies for Bedrock and it's just impossible, absolutely impossible. Unless we created our own forge for Bedrock Edition, which I don't even imagine how it would work because it's written in C++ probably. Hi Docaris. Yeah, I don't I don't know if that's even remotely possible. Especially since it's mainly Yeah, Bedrock is basically unmoddable. No, you you're getting that wrong, Ty Jr. Minecraft is not built for mods. <laughs> no game is built almost no game is built for but especially Minecraft is not built for mods. It's the modders that kind of squeeze Minecraft Java Edition in a way that you can somewhat mod it. But Minecraft in generally, I would say, is not made for mods. Although I know that there are mods in games like in Nintendo games which you can load on the Switch, for example, in Wii U. So, but it's all C++ stuff mainly, so that is not very comfortable to mod with. Or not at all comfortable to mod with. Yeah. I'm already getting myself a post-traumatic stress syndrome doing C++ work for my PhD. <laughs> Although it's progressing, it's progressing. Today I was able <laughs> to get blocks produced by the blockchain and I'm, I'm just so happy about that. Once once you are finished with that, yeah. some guy, science uh, worker for you and he does all this stuff. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and you never touch this again. <laughs> yeah, I mean if, the, if they were really smart they wouldn't be working on all those features and stuff. They would just make sure that they have a stable API and improve bugs and improve performance and all these kinds of things. And yeah, would keep features... Basically just with the framework. Just, just develop the framework and make life easier for modders regularly. Like, ah, okay, now we're going to roll out the new graphics update. That's fine. That's something fine to do. And then we add, but instead of adding features around it, we're going to add other things. Like, we're going to add documentation to it or something like this. Uh, we need yellow wool. Um, then I lost all my dandelions. Don't we have any dandelions? I can take my horsey. We can convert flowers actually. Yeah, I'm going there. Yeah. Oh nice the guard tower here is finished. What is here now? The mine? Yes. Oh nice we got a mine ready too. Okay. Uh that is not a mine, that's a farm. That's a farm. Oops. Yes. <laughs> and my game froze. Okay, I'm back. I was wondering who Yeah, yeah, we're mine. we're speaking about mine. about Mojang as always. We're saying something bad about a company. It's got to be Mojang. Aren't there those yellow glow rows? What do they give me? Nothing. Useless flower. Uh, useless. Um, I'm I'm doing my PhD in consensus algorithms uh, in blockchains. 
So I am basically adjusting a common consensus algorithm to my needs and then I'm going to check if it performs much better than anything else. That's basically what I'm doing for my PhD. And around that there's a lot of theoretical stuff involved. Uh, Some maths. <laughs> a, a bunch of maths on how this is practically feasible as well. And we already have the, the mathematical proofs that it's very feasible and probably good to have. However, we do need um, still um, proof that this is also in practice the case, right? Like one, one of the big dis disadvantages of doing your PhD in computer science is that in most areas you kind of choose if you want the theoretical line or the practical line. And then you, like either you create a practical prototype or you do a lot of, and maybe like a simulation somewhere, or you do mainly the maths. And in computer science you gotta do both. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting a bunch of dandelions here. Don't bother me, zombie. And yeah, I, I actually really love it. Like it's, I really love the topic of consensus protocols. Something I've been working on basically since my my bachelor, and I'm really happy that the became pretty relevant lately with blockchain. You can say like a hipster. I've been doing it before it was cool. <laughs> um, I really enjoy the topic. I think it's very interesting. Um, we've been saying for ages that current computer systems are not resistant to intrusions. So in, when the hacker attacks one of your databases all of your databases are compromised, which is fairly horrible, and that's something you can solve with uh, bits and teen fault tolerance con consensus, basically. And that's what I've been doing for the past seven years. Trying. The, the only problem of that is that it's like super slow. So what I've been working on since this, in those seven years is then trying to find neat ways on how to make it not so slow. And where's Horsey? Horsey? Did you lose your horsey? No. It's not good, way. Eh? Oh, it's nice. It's blue on the map. That's useful. Uh, I got a bunch of dandelions. And a bunch of poppies as well. I'm coming back. Go horsey! Now, ah, there are some more on the way. Just gotta check where back is. Okay, that's spawn. Ah, I lost my waypoint of our colony. Amazing. How did you do that? I don't know. <laughs> Should that's I because send it? Yeah, please. Although I, I think it's more or less in this direction. Yeah, I got it, I got it. You are. Yeah, it's the right way. It's not so far away. I found oh, it. Do you have like five death markers or so left? No, no death markers left. It's because uh, I changed the mod pack since we started, uh, so yeah. I didn't die in the last episode. You lost your two aspects, children. Yeah, yeah, I reset them. Here! Not even our voice pack. Oh my god, I didn't. Uh, no, the voice pack is installed. The voice pack is automatically installed. Yeah, but you have to add it manually. Oh, do I? Yeah. Um, it's disabled by default. Um, not shaders. It's resource packs. Mine colony's voice pack. Then, 
Will it reload? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, of course it does. Of course, of course it will. It has to. Um, does the mod pack contain a way to cut down trees in one go? Um, I don't think so. Yes, it does. It does? Yeah. That's OP. You see, like added it. a mod which cuts down trees when you hit the base. But I tried it and the other trees didn't fall down when I hit the base. Do it I need to... Me if I hit the base, maybe you... Cut the upper part first. Do I need a special tool for that? Or does any tool work? Any tool. My, my default iron X does it. Hmm. Maybe... Maybe I wasn't paying attention at all. There's always that that chance as well that I wasn't paying attention. That is always a very, very uh, viable um, reason for anything, basically. So what's even better than cutting down trees yourself is get a lumberjack and let him do the tree cutting yeah, we're, part. Yeah, we're having the lumberjack doing all the tree cutting for us. And it's working yeah. very well. Tremendously. Um, Tree cutting, what is it? Don't you have a lumberjack? Yeah. Lumberjack is good enough. <laughs> the llamas. <laughs> oh, our town hall is neat. And finished. Um, do the lumberjacks manage to cut down really tall trees completely now? They should most of the times. Not most always and not time. guaranteed, but they should most of the times. Yeah. Unless they generate kind of weirdly so that the logs are not completely connected, that can cause issues. Because the, yeah. the logs have to be connected at least diagonally. Um. Acacia should work. Uh, okay, Acacia colony never had problems with that, to be fair. Yeah. Did it kick me out? No. I'm still loading the resource pack. This can only be a matter of hours. Yeah, it's okay. I'm killing you in the meanwhile, so you get some mark on your map. Uh. <laughs> I'm seeing already some addons throwing letters at me. I have the poppies. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid. I got the poppies. Are you scared? <laughs> um, dum -dum. Me when I'm waiting. <laughs> oh, we can later get you uh Waste on so you can teleport back. Oh, that would be neat. We Are just got to uh, get some. But with with a horse, you can't teleport anyway, right? Uh, no, I don't think it teleports a horse with you. Dum -de -dum. I, re I really hate this. Who invented this? 90% of the way, like, come on, I know that it's mathematically very difficult to have an accurate bar in terms of progress. I know that it is like... Not at all. I know that it is like complex to have it like very accurate. Yeah, yeah like 100%, but 90% is easy. But yeah, like a greedy algorithm is like super easy, come on. Why it's does not so hard. Save last loading time and use it. <laughs> it's not like it changes so often. I mean, we also know what are the... Like, you can make like a statistical reference in terms of how many mods are there or something, how many blogs are there. We know this kind of stuff. Yeah, okay. But the easiest thing to do is just observe last time and remember it. <laughs> At least and it doesn't show negative or above really change yeah. your system. Yeah. It's like, yeah. 
Yeah, the problem is that the system load can can change, right? Yeah, of course, but it, the bar is always an estimation. So. Um. Oops. Um, dum be dum. I do want first. I want to send a waypoint here. Um, new. By the way, did you click our waypoint yet? Save. I did. I did. Okay. That one. Uh, that one activated already. Yes. Um, dum be dum. I do want to give some medicine to the lumberjack. I heard. Yeah, I hit. He's pretty sick. He's pretty he's sick. Giving some mask or so. What do you need? Carrot and potato. Do we have that? We have carrot and we have potato. Yes. Um. Where is it? Upstairs. Upstairs. Yeah. It no more works. Um. Uh, dum. Um, carrots and potato. Here, I'm going to put a bunch of those inside. I'm going to bring it to the lumberjack. Okay, we are online now. Oops, wrong entry. There we go. Poor lumberjack. What is yeah, that? poor lumberjack. Um, carrot and potato. Going to hear the music now? Yes. So he's getting healed. I guess we can go to bed already. Oh. Okay. Um, let's see. Two. Yeah, we we uh, we upped it to thirty percent now. So we're going to see how long people are going to need to go to bed. What should you... Hi, Captain Sound. What should you try? Gelder is sleeping. And we got a new day. Um, the bad localization, that should be Minecraft. White wool. Okay, let me check what the builder needs. That builder got upgrade. No, that's a citizen nut. Oh, we got our first citizen nut ready. Yeah. That looks neat. I like it. Looks very space worthy for sure. Um, I wanted to check on the builder though. I'm not sure if it counts the people. I think it doesn't count the people that are under a certain height. Oh wow! 39 yellow carpet and 31 floating carpet. John! <laughs> John, what did you do? What is this? <laughs> do you really hate us so much? See, that's why second building after a shepherd is always uh, after a farm is always a shepherd. I can dye carpet because in eight. All these colored woods is terrible to get. Um. Yeah, I can carpet dye dye carpet in groups at least. Okay. So, but that, that is not even close to what I need actually. Wait, I can do left okay, click let's get crafting started. now. Um, so at least some of it, but we definitely need more wool than that. Hi Jim. Ouch. I hit my finger again. Oh poor guy. You need smooth sandstone and a bunch of it. Okay. To make uh, some. Surely is blocking some, I think. He had some, yeah. The furnace outside here has some. I have smooth sandstone cooked. Yeah, smooth is a cooked one. Cut uh, is the uh, other one. 
Okay, so while he is, I'm going to check on the other builder as well. And our our town hall is ready here too. Our first level of the town hall. It's going to see how Chaba's palace looks like. Got this upper area here. Looks very neat. And here we got the Chaba's throne room basically. Glad that is one finally finished. Took the builder ages. Let's see how the other yeah. builder is doing. Um, he seems to be needing something. If you say so. Um, you do need a red bed, don't you? Good that I have just three wood wool left. Okay. Um, give me a jungle jungle log. Three of those, and then die the bed. Okay, let's get started. Yes, he's building the citizen hut, level three. How's the work going? Oh, I gave you that one. You should be fine. Yes, because you just got enough for the bed now. <laughs> it wasn't that funny, I think. Um, I'm going out to get more wool, I guess. I'm going to need a bunch of it. Horsey, we're on a mission. Find sheep um, east of us are some. East? Would have gone yeah. north Aus there again, northy. East. Horsey seems pretty slow. Okay. Getting some wool. Dum -de -dum. So yeah, we released a two new versions today that mainly contain a relatively big fix for the colony um, data transfer. There was a relatively stupid bug there. So we had the fix ready already and released it. But the fix was not yet connected, actually. So I spent all day today, basically, um, testing this and fixing it. Um, thankfully to me, also helped out a little bit. So we got that one fixed and released today. And already on the server to, be, to test it out how well it's working. But it should be working fine. I tested it on that world we used in the last server and it was working very smoothly. Um, um, besides that, it also includes a fix for the um, healer worker, where people would stay at home um, to get healed and the healer wouldn't always take care of them now. They detect if they're actually lying in a hospital or not, and will then, if necessarily, walk home. Eh, walk home. Walk to walk to the university actually, and take care of that. So that should also fix that. Um, what is this here? That is a colony here. That's a a village here. Yeah, they walk to the hospital, exactly. <laughs> um, I'm going to continue walking a little bit. Um, so we also fixed some other things related to the miner. That was doing some things he shouldn't be doing. And they shouldn't be doing. So that's going to be fixed in future versions as well. That's. I think that's mainly it. Yeah, I think so. Um, and we launched a schematic update as well. Because there was a... Actually even a bug with the... Um, with the minor, schem minor schematics we are going to use, be using in the Space War style. I found that by chance by debugging the miner. <laughs> 
I spied. It, it was missing um, um, torches. So that would have been fun. Yeah, the... my miner would have died all the time. No, yeah. not why. The miner would have died now twice the time amount of times. That's already a lot. So, so you hire him, him, turn his back towards him. Two seconds later, dead. Yeah, that 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 would basically exactly would have been what would have happened. Yeah, it would not be a mine. It would be more like a mob spawner, exactly. Yes. Mob spawners are good for uh, cats. Could have had uh, way to get in that first. Put cats in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> um, there we go. Oh, did you already put our guards to training? No. They just trained it. At night, when some zombies spawn around. There we go. Those are pigs, those are fine. More sheep. There we go. Oops. Ah, more sheep, that's good. How much are we at? 50 wool. Still not as much as we probably need for all that carpet. We do need a shepherd urgently. Yeah. I think we can build a shepherd next as well. We got our farm. Oh, we got a farm. Oh. So potentially a shepherd can. Uh, we need a university next, I would say. Yeah, but that one needs. More wood for sure. Oh, we, uh, as, we, as far as we know, John, we could at least try to craft it, um, place it, and then and check what it needs. See the resource cost. <laughs> huh? Yeah, and see the resource cost. Have a liner's a minor stroke, cast a little bit in the direction of John. <laughs> Just kidding. Who knows? <laughs> Complain a little bit. And then decide to do the shepherd first. Oh, then when you are back, we can also go to make our teleporters. I ah, think Shuri yes. doesn't have one yet, too. Either, yeah. Okay, where is the direction of the colony? It did place that spawn. Where is the other one I placed? Colony. You should go I found it. Southwest. Yeah, yeah, I found it on the journey map. No, that one doesn't. Yeah. Did, did you ever play without journey map? Yeah. How was that? Oh, I, I used to build a new base every four or five days. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's uh, that's a solution too. <laughs> I I used to learn to let it go. <laughs> <laughs> um, there were a bunch of sheep here earlier. Are they around anymore? No, I'm actually I'm actually pretty good at at finding my way back when I don't have the tools for it. When I have to tool for it, I get reliant on it. Yeah, I know that one. Basically, what you don't have to remember, you do not remember. Yeah, basically, exactly that. Basically, fine to go home now. Now, see a little bit on this side of the mountain. I think there are some up here. Yeah, no, they're fine. Ah, there's one. There's one. I get your wool. 
great. That one is fine too. Thank you for your donation. This is for a good cause, sheeps. We're going to create a huge colony where we're going to exploit the nature and natural resources around it. Classical human move. But trust me. It will be great. It will be great. Um, yes, this and the server did update here. Oh, I can see what Shirley is trying to place from a far away distance. Did you accept the invite? And there's did only a happiness you? effect on. Yeah, he did invite me. There's a happiness effect on if they don't sleep regularly. What is he trying to place? Uh, our shepherd. Ah, nice, okay. Well, that one is but relatively I small. I can see it because you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess you can make it a little bit more in the, in the direction of our supply camp. Maybe another five blocks more. Yeah. Where's the farm? Next to the guard tower. Maybe we should place it more... Where's the farm? We should place it close to the farm. Ah, there, the farm is there, behind here. Yeah, we should place it close to the farm as well then. Yeah, same next to the farm is cool. We can place it here on the road, but closer to the farm in general. Farm... Yeah, exactly. I think that's a good location, yes. It's fine. I'm helping the sheep because they're in a warm biome. Uh, they're in woodlands. Okay. There we go. Um, let me just get my backpack. Dump a few of those things I don't need in here. And then we go and give the builder the remaining materials. Shirley, did you give him already? My finger again. Smooth sandstone? So you need spruce doors. Do I have spruce with me? Jungle. Jungle. Only two. I'm going to get some spruce for you and I'm going to just check how Shirley's production is going on. Are you already are taking it over? <laughs> He's taking more and more and more. Yeah, I gave him 32 now and he needs 800 now. Yeah, he needs a bunch. What's that? What is he bu building on, by the way? Seven. Level two. Yeah, that one is needing a lot of smooth sandstone. My lord. Um, what did I want to do here? Damn it. What did I ask? I remember Bruce. telling our builders to not make it that big. No, it, it is relatively compact. It's just because it's. It I think needs smooth sandstone for all of it. <laughs> yeah, seems that way. Right. No, oh, dum de dum. We walk to the builder now and give him the spruce doors he wanted. Um, there we go. Give spruce doors. Here you go, spruce doors. So how many carpet was it? Another fifteen yellow carpet. Okay. And a bunch of floating carpet then. Okay. So let's make 16. Yellow carpet. Ouch. It hit my finger again. There. And now how many floating was it? 31 floating carpet. Okay. There we go. You got the... I know that's. I said 31. 
Oh. Floating carpet. I need string for that one. Do we have so much string? 31, uh, maybe. 31. How, how is the recipe again for... Fr is it one string each? Yeah, one string mm -hmm. each. Yeah. Asha, Asha made that recipe. <laughs> Asha made that recipe. We have 29. I have four on me. Okay. Take a few those. Those four are from our um, guard knight. <laughs> yeah. He killed some spiders apparently. How do, how do we Good put? I don't know. I have to do the recipe now. Um, carpet, thirty-one, thirty-three, and a build tool. Oh, it was the right way around. Floating carpet. There we go. You put the remaining back here. There we go. Yeah, we kind of need uh, our Fletcher as well for that. You need to update your mod pack. And we updated. 31 floating carpet. Okay, we're progressing at least. Yellow yeah. banner. Ni 19 yellow. John. <laughs> How many? 19 banners? 19 banners. That's 19 times 6. Uh... <laughs> I'm, I'm out of wool. We just need one and a half six. Maybe we just uh, we go first to our spawn to get our teleporters now. Um, we have to go to spawn uh, to buy it. Huh. What do What's you need next? now? Smooth sandstone. <laughs> yeah, banners are very good. expensive. Like, for that little bit of cloth, needing so much, that's a little bit of an overkill, I think. Um, let me check how the other builder is doing. And I wanted to get the university, at least. Univer... City books. Surely already went to spawn. He went to spawn. Do I have to go to spawn? Yeah. Okay. And it's spawn. Hey, Mick. What do I have to do? Uh, we need to go south to find the. God, I'm lagging. Uh, south to get to the, our, our village just there. Can we go through here? Oh yeah, we can go through here. By the way, <laughs> see, took the long way around. Yeah, that's the alternative thing I entered. Damn it! Huh. And that was a bad decision, I would say. Spawn is too big. Spawn is huge. Yeah. Okay. And there we go. I got some issues with doors. Yeah, they tend to bug, kinda. They tend, sure tend to bug very bad. Yeah, yeah. 19 yellow banners, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I'm walking to the market. Is that performant, maybe? Maybe. I know the double dosing me is from Quark. That's not vanilla. Could be Quark as well. I don't think it's doing the doors on vertex or something. Um, 
Did you add something to performant to reduce the message load? The what load? Message. It seems messages are taking long to, to yeah. arrive. Yeah. So what do I have to do? You take those bottles and those two. And so and done. With, with the cleric for emeralds. Done. And then you trade those emeralds for inner pearls. You need four inner pearls. I got two. Need more emeralds? Yes. Good, so I bought some. Okay, that should be fine. Um, okay, now I got five. Nice. Then you need purple dye there. and a crafting table. Okay. Right. Um, and how how is the recipe? It's called warp stone. Warp. Oops. Warp stone. And an emerald in the middle. Purple dye and a pearl and a. And what are this like this? Warp stone, I got it. Okay. And now. Now you put it in your hand and hold right click. It's a portable version of our waystone. Oh, that's neat. That's definitely useful. Yeah. I'm out of food. Do we have food in the rack here? We should. Mm, don't think so. I was searching for food earlier too. Not sure where it all went. Um, puffer fish? Maybe. Not really. Tropical Maybe fish? Surely not where food is hidden. hidden. Um, Shirley, where do we have food? Thanks. <laughs> that he works. has a door. <laughs> he has a. He's doing the classical capitalist or, move. Or yeah, he's grading it. Crafted. He was grading a monopoly on food. Going to trade that food for personal favors. Oh yes. Okay. Let's see. What What do you need? Everly. Gonna put a roof over my head. Four torches. I can help you with Whoa, that. Oh, this looks fantastic. What's next? What's next is using the torches I'm trying Only to give you. Only need a hammer and some stones, go. and ready is the new house. Um, she's almost finished now with that build. Meanwhile, I am going to craft a university. Do we have books? He no, but you can craft some. Um, we have some bookshelves, but yeah, yeah I, I do have some leather with me, and I guess we do have we have paper, paper. In, next to our wood stuff. Okay, in the other one. <laughs> paper, paper. None of that is paper. None. None. Next to our wood. Ah, here. Okay. Oh, so it is never sweet. Yes, very neat. So I'm going to need some paper. There we go. And we do need the ladder. And we can make four books. Good enough. And with four books, we need some planks. We can make the university. Got these doors. Which which way around was it? Was it only one book? 
no that's library university two books two books that's invisible I love it <laughs> opti is still not fine your parts arrive one month later that does sound pretty horrible to me um. okay where are we going to place that university probably around here next to the builder we got fairly good space here in this area next to the town hall as well let's see university space wars level one yeah, it seems to be taking a bunch of but it doesn't seem too bad for level one okay it needs a lot of sandstone it seems at least I hope it's normal sandstone Sandstone is becoming some issue. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even make a miner properly for it. Um, do I put it one higher? Like this? What do you think, Sam Adams? Mm, I'm not. I guess I can check the screen. Oops. Oh, it looks neat. Wait, is that red sand? I don't hope so. This is definitely red sandstone. <laughs> God. We yeah, do have a. Red. I do have a waystone next to red sandstone, though. Yeah, yeah I remember. That. We activated that. If no one killed it. <laughs> if no one killed it, that's true. Um, but that but should be f should that be neat. fine, or do I want it lower, or do I want it? I think the location in general is fine. What is that behind there? Oh, that's the desert temple. Yeah. Or is it? Yes. Or do I want it more here? No, I think that's a good location there. But I'm wondering I mean, if I want a lot of space, so not sure if we want to have it very central. I could put it a little bit farther behind as well. We got some decent space here. Yeah, true. It would work too. Yeah, I think here is fine. Then, can, then we can use the space over there for our citizen houses. So they are more central. Yeah. Always good when those are on the corner where mobs spawn or so. I think that's a good location. I'll just have to find out where... I think it was up there. The block. So I just gotta click OK. And it's invisible in the air. Opti not fine. <laughs> Where is the block? <laughs> I I let you search for a while, but it's actually not in the air. It's not over here. No, we can look up the. Yeah, it's as long as we want. It's not there. It's not in the air, right? Yeah. Where did it go? <laughs> I have to search. Wasn't Gia making a feature for this? <laughs> I, he was. Are you, he was really are you randomly mining or do you have a general idea where it could be? I randomly mine, we need sand anyways. <laughs> <laughs> and if I mine everything. I thought it was going to be overground somewhere. Um. I 
if I'm Easter egg hunting. Diggy, yeah. diggy, dig, dig. Okay. Yeah. Now we have a reason to create a hot block location. Yeah. But shouldn't it create a construction tape around it when placing it? Mm. It should. Maybe you should check your inventory for it. No, it definitely left my inventory. But it might have failed to place in that mysterious, mysterious way. Okay. So. Uh, so I'm going to get another two books and then we're going to try it again. <laughs> and then I'm going to check very well where that hot block is going. <laughs> yeah. Um. No, that it should usually already directly give us the outlining on placement. University. Yeah. Normally, it should. It should on placement directly. Hi, architect BMW. How are you doing? Okay, second attempt. That's one of these weird bugs we are having lately. It's like impossible to reproduce locally. I love it. Yeah. Okay. So there's the hat block. Okay, the hat block is very high Y level wise. Are you sure it's not in the air? Yes. <laughs> Maybe in sub tree. Uh, okay. That should be the right location, right? Or did we want it a bit farther behind? One, two, three, four. Um, sand. No, here's the university. Um, and I'm going to build my way oops, up. Okay, it should be here, right next to me. Failed again. Meh. Think that's Optify related? No. Weird. Very, very, very weird. Let me replace the next one. Yeah, I'm going to make this little tower here that so that you know where we wanted to place it. Yeah. No, it shouldn't be a bug in the schematic, because I can see it with the corner around it. And we had a similar bug where it happened to me, and it wasn't reproducible for anyone else. I don't know. Oh. For me it seems like a message getting lost or so. Because there was also no, there's no log related to causing that. Can we sleep? What did did the builder start already on something? No. Okay, Mizen doesn't want us to sleep yet. So I'm going to click upgrade on our guard tower there as well. What level is our builder by the way? Upgrade to level three. I'm going to go to the other builder hut and upgrade that to level three too. We do want them a high enough level. Dum -de -dum. And our knife died. Do, 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 do. Poor Oswin. I knew Oswin. He was yeah, a good guy. Okay, that build is level 3 there already. All tagged. Okay. I guess we can sleep now. Yeah, I don't I don't exactly know what this causing this weird behavior. Bridge. 
university did you even try to place? The Space Wars one. Oh, it's on me. Mm, I'm sleeping, two are sleeping. Yes, we made it! <laughs> Oops, wrong button. Oh, that was one. Uh, I wanted to check on that builder here. But I think How that builder is. How did the university increase. look for you? Like a sandstone temple? Like a pyramid, right? Yes. It's completely different from that. Oh, weird. I can see it. Is that the level 1? That's level 5. Ah, okay. And level 1? Yeah, it's exactly that one. Click plus 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 nah. plus. Yep. This one. Yes. Wait, it turns into... Ah... Okay. Oh, I love it. That one looks amazing. That's the Space Wars one. Yeah. Both are. So, one down it should be. Let me find the hard block again. It's up in the air. Yeah, it should be yeah, that. It is. It can is you far can in go there. a little bit farther behind? Maybe like around five blocks behind. Like this. Mm -hmm. I just get my build tool. Maybe we align it that it's get another five blocks behind, so that it lines around behind the. Town hall. Um, yes. Yeah. yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, I think that looks fine. Let's see if it works. Yes, this time it worked. Oh, I love those. Not reproducible <laughs> bugs. But they it would only break if you do it. <laughs> and it only happened with me. It only happens with me. Yes. Yeah, I'm not sure if you got to build it yet. No, I just wanted to check the resources. Yeah, I'm checking in. You sandstone, normal on. sandstone, normal sandstone. 1,700. 35, yeah. And 1,100 sandstone stairs. <laughs> yeah, who made this? <laughs> I, th I think we should definitely already start building it, because this is going to need a while. Oh, it's nice. We surely said we have 2,000 cents, so we are just lacking a thousand or so. Um, with a stone cutter, we should be fine. Halfway. Stone cutter makes sense, though. Yes, yes, because you get the same amount of stairs as you put blocks in it. Ah, since those stairs, yeah. Yeah. Um, I was thinking if you can maybe make sandstone out of as a materials. Okay, you're working on the guard tower level 3. And I guess you need a white... Was it a white bed? Yes. Do I have some wool over? I don't want to go out and get wool again. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> do we have a... Ah, we do have a white bed in the base, don't we? That I can use. Yeah. I got a red bat here in my hand, so I'm going to trade them. Um, here. We oh could what? also get two sheep for our shepherd. Are we building the shepherd already? Yeah, we should build them soon. It's at least placed. Let me check if it's building yet. Um, Not yet. Not yet. Great. So I you get a wide bed. Oh, what do you need? Roof over my head. You need cut sandstone now. For that, I can help you. That I have here in my inventory. Sandstone, sandstone, sandstone. <sighs> um, I can cut, make it cut sandstone in my inventory, can't I? I can. Yes, my lord. We have infested stone, chiseled sandstone. A cactus fence and torch. Okay. Uh, we got those. I 
Um, ah, in multi MC, you have to uh, re download it. There is no way to update, update. an instance in multi MC. I mean, GD Launcher does nothing else, anyway, so. And it's funny because multi MC is created by the Minecraft devs. That's actually kind of an official launcher. Chisel, slabs, cactus, and torches. Do I have... I do. Neat. Um, there we go. Making sticks out of that, making sticks out of this. Getting a bunch of torches. There you go. We got everything for the guard tower level three upgrade. Neat. Thanks. And the other one, <laughs> let me check out what the other one is doing actually. Um, let me dump this stuff here. Yeah, you have to do all the settings again. Basically, you can copy the copy the settings over from the other one though. Um, what is that one doing? Smooth sandstone. It stopped burning and put some coal back in. But not a lot though. So, how's the work? Yeah, I'm asking you how the work is. Birch stairs and still a 19 yellow. John! <laughs> Where are you? I want to complain. He's hiding. <laughs> I have a complaint to file. Okay, I'm going to get more of that wool. I really don't feel like getting wool. We could get some sheep. I have got uh, two leads for us. Okay. Because our shepherd needs two anyways. Yeah, okay, let's get some sheep. But they weren't that far, I think. Oh, we didn't take any fence or so. Surely, nope. build, build us a fence so when we get back we can put sheep inside. We have the, with the one with the graves inside. Oh yeah, we put the uh, chicken. Yeah, we got some chickens there too. Dum dee dum dee dum dee dum, we're walking. No, it's a bit straight. I think. East was too. East was sure. too. Seeing rabbits. Yeah, this is still a rabbit biome. You sure there was some east? <laughs> because I'm sure there were some north. I mean, I had my... I see some cows over there. There is a rabbit herder hut. Yes, there is now. So two. We could test that one. Although the rabbit herder hut does not give you... What? Um, wool. See, here's cows. Yeah, then I... Come, come, come. We go there um, north where um, I said all along we should go. <laughs> yes, chickens. I found chickens. <laughs> That's not what we need. So I'm getting some yeah, but, but soon, leather in the way. So at least it was not completely useless. Oh, I found swines. <laughs> come, come here back east and north, instead of running further uh, west and north, instead of running further east. No, no, it will work. It will work. It will work. Yeah, statistically, eventually, <laughs> when you go infinitely, in the east, you're going to find one. I am walking north now. Hey, more chickens. Hey, more horses. Um, more cows. Need to get this. I found sheep. See? See? <laughs> I found a sheep as well. Two, three. So where are but you? I've got 
You have the leads. Or not. Yeah, you have the leads. <laughs> oh, uh, I can l use two at the same time. Cow? I'm having some lag. Yeah, me too. Server dying? Back yeah. Server. I'm back, I think. I did, did some happy rubber banding. Yeah, I'm back too. Okay. Okay, she is now. Come with me. Uh. Wait, she's getting two, doesn't work. I found you. I'm coming. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> sheepy, sheepy, sheep. Come. Come. Ugh. <laughs> It's terrible, always terrible. You can do this, sheep. You can do this. You can do this. Jump up a block. It can't be so difficult. Oh. <laughs> yes, I hate jumping up. Uh. I know it's the only way to get wool in this game. I'm sorry. True. Maybe we should, we should make some wool worker. <coughs> make school out of dirt or so. Going to make a m mine colony's vegan edition. I mean, we could make special trees for it and use tree wool. I was already playing, but you could do something. Yeah, there's like a, a cotton plant. Yeah, cotton. You could have um, things to get like you put beet together with wheat and you get a burger. <laughs> uh, we no, do have pams, I think. Yes, we do have pams. Yeah. So I think we do have cotton. Mr. Cotton. You could off, make our farmer do it. Oh, we do have cotton. And not, from cotton we can make string and from string we can make wool. That works. Yeah. We still need to make a feed for our farmer as well. Yeah, th we, do we have a farmer hired yet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we need... Potatoes as well, it's pretty important, baked potatoes. Yeah, baked pot- <laughs> oh, no, 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 where did that come from? I just God. saw you flying high in the air, <laughs> blowing up. Damn it, Kriefa, damn it. <laughs> oh, that was one. <laughs> Did I lose my? Okay, my lead survived. Okay, we're, we're arriving at the colony. Yeah, we do need baked potatoes first of all. And... I guess it is quicker... Uh, I guess it's quicker to use these sheeps ourselves than using the shepherd for now. Because the shepherd kills them, and that is a little bit less yeah. efficient. But in general, people have, were asking for making a button for the shepherd not killing them. That should be very easy to do. Yeah. Okay, I'll write it on my list. Okay, okay. <laughs> not on Asha's list? Shepherd not kill. Okay, I got it on my list. There. Mm. Oh, there's already a sheep here. A black one, though. Um. 
There's the shears. Now we just can our sheep and don't need so much for. Uh, and we need a bunch of white ones too. Okay. Mm, that's fine. Come in here, sheepy. Come in here. <laughs> How did our chicken get outside? Okay, so we got that one done. Where did my horsey go? Ah, it's there. Okay. <laughs> Ouch. Who made a hole here, by the way? Just so that I can f fly into gaps again, as always. And I'm going to check what our builder is up to now. What are you doing, Everly? What are you up to? Tell me. Guard tower, still okay. To have a bit of patience then. Probably not been loaded. Or is she sick ever somewhere? No, I can see her walking there. Okay, now she's constructing there. You can see Did her. You click our new way, way stone. Do we because have a new? Surely moved. I uh, surely moved the way stone. I did not yet. Yeah, In well, fact, should not forget. Okay, we're upgrading our guard tower here. That one I built as well. <laughs> it's my design. Ages ago. Ages, really, literally ages ago. The builder is my design as well. The citizen that is John's design. And most of the, all of the new buildings are John's designs. So the supply camps, the university. Oh, I, I can't wait to have the warehouse. I love the warehouse. The warehouse is one of the best buildings. Ah, uh, we have a farmer so. here. I can help you with that. You need a steak. I guess you need a field as well. Yeah, I'm making one. Are you making a field now for him? Okay. Let me see if I have some dirt on me. Nope. <sighs> Only two. Well, I'm waiting for Everly to finish here. Hi, Farrah Wolf. How are you doing? Aye. Dum -de -dum. Oh, I was so relieved when I got finally that C++ program running. Yeah, because with all this... Running. Okay, don't touch it in anymore. It's, it's because with all this memory management stuff, it, it can get so confusing. Which building is this now? Shirley, which building is this? I'm doing fine. I'm... I'm making progress every day, so that's that's how it's supposed to be. I know people that are like kind of stuck with their PhD for over a year and doing the same thing and trying over different things and it's not working. Ah, that's a field. Okay, that is a field. Nah, we're not going to use one of those fields then. Ah, it's quite neat, but I think for now we need our builders and our resources. I would just make a classical 9x9 nine by nine one. 9x9 nine one. No, just normal dirt. Some Adams is working on it already here. It's just digging out a 9x9 nine nine space. Um, and our builder... Our builder is getting more efficient. That's something you can definitely say. OK. 
Okay, okay. Yeah, progress is always good. You just can't stop going in some direction. Sometimes, sometimes even backtracking can lead to some progress, but at least you're doing something. Dumb. But yes, things, things are progressing nicely. Oh, a sandy waystone, I like it. Uh, yeah, the one looks fun. There we go. Dump that one here. What is sinew? Um, do we have a food oven somewhere? Surely is silent today. We have a place for letter. I'm going to put it here. I don't think. Ah, we have, we have. No, here. That's the place. Eating some of this. And now we get more, more. I need more. Thanks. Check on our two builders. One of them is down here. Let me see if the sandstone smeltery is progressing. Guard tower finished. Very nice. Uh, work, work. And I guess you want some of those smooth sandstone, right? How much is now left? Uh, only 600. If it's only that, right? Men gotta do what men gotta do. Okay, you got everything you can start working. Great. Ouch. I hit my finger again. Okay, he's working. Great. Only 600, yes. I don't know how this <laughs> is even remotely possible. I can you need 600 of it. I can't even imagine how much Sanctuary in total we need. For yeah. Our column. Yeah, that is <laughs> not a number I want to hear right now. <laughs> we need to Im implement something. <laughs> um, okay, let me... Um, I need some... Oops. Those here I want here. Then I'm going to get cobblestone and the side. And those jungle and sticks. Okay. So I want 30, 36 sticks. Uh, a bit more. There we go. Then I want to put those here back. Stone, stone pickaxe. Okay. Oops. And now I do want to create a bunch of pickaxes. Okay, so that should be already enough for one other hammer and I can hammer away a little bit of of more sandstone. There we go. Another nine we need now. Chuck. I thought Endicide worked to get a pickaxe. Did we did that change? Hmm. Don't think so. That's weird. But you can convert it to cobble anyway. I can convert it to cobble anyway. Okay. That's easier instead of searching. Okay. Making another hammer. And yeah, I know that there is a hammer in that mod too. But I don't want to go through the work of creating one. Yeah, it worked earlier for me too. I don't know why it just didn't work right now. But I just got like Murphy got his hands there. And 
So I'm not going to question Murphy. He he knows what he's doing. Did you see the graveyard at night, Danny? Oh, we got a raid. We got raiders. Maybe we should sleep. Raiders! Okay. And we ad we added a recipe in to convert any of these blocks to cobblestone. Yeah, because we got some merch and which generates a ton of. Which was it? Northwest. Northwest. Okay. Oh, from here, kind of. I see you at dots on the map. Ah, back there. I can see him as well. Floating in the air. At the desert temple. Oh. Wait, no! Shirley, are you kidding me? Killing me? <laughs> I I shot Shirley and nearly killed him. I truly <laughs> shot you and killed you. <laughs> uh, we, we are a good good team for fighting <laughs> together. We were a great PVE group, I see. <laughs> Shooting each other in the back. Yeah, yeah, we can def definitely make it a, a texture pack to get some Tuscan Raiders. That would be pretty awesome. But hey, no, 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 important people die. <laughs> hey, <laughs> and welcome, Christopher. Welcome to our stream. Ah. Uh, Orion told me that he almost finished the the stream setup, like to have a nice background, AFK background, and these kinds of things. Mm. That should be ready in someone somewhat next week. I I should I I, I just use the unfinished one. <laughs> okay, that Enderman hat here. Yeah. Yeah, the, the unfinished oh, one looks like already that. pretty great. I tried to get him to send it to me, but uh, he didn't want to. He wanted to finish it. Yeah, the, our setup is coming together fairly nicely. Some Eden streams here with us together. <laughs> what? I am? Damn it. I never knew. You're. Practically streaming with us here. Yeah. Although if you want it, I could give give you the login for the Twitch account as well if you want to stream some dev or something like that during the day. Ah, mm, stream me dev as boy. The people who like that, who are into that kind of stuff. It me from thinking. So. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why I don't stream deffing mostly because it distracts yeah. me. You can either. Keep talking or interacting or think about how you want to do stuff. It's be it's because Orion he thinks loudly anyway. So oh okay yeah it then it works better. So basically that works fairly well together, but yeah I I think quietly as well so that doesn't work unless I know exactly what I want to do and how I want to do it. Yeah if you know it previously then that can work. Collecting a bunch of that stuff. There we go. Getting more sandstone. Okay. At least that is faster than mining sand. Did I 
didn't we have some research for our questions? Yes, we do. Maybe we can use it. To get sand from cobble? Yeah, and then get sandstone from that. Is that worth it? Are you, like, we would have to be generating a lot of cobble to make that one worth it yeah, too. Yeah, I was thinking about maybe having like really four miners or something like that. Or just so borders Azure to finally release that. I mean, technically, we could have four miners all mining on different Y levels and be fine with each other. Yeah, that, uh, kinda. Not really, kinda only, right? Because there is still the problem of them tearing down each other's mine shafts, right? Certain probability. But it. it mm. Practically, it depends how we place them. Maybe when we place them in a square right next to each other, then not. Um, yes, yeah, still, still, they mine around the corner. Yeah, but only after a, a bit of going straight. Uh, ciao, Captain Salt. See you tomorrow. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm thinking myself like. If I'm going to talk with Azure a little bit because implementing multiple workers for the miner is actually not a lot of work itself. Yeah, more workers is in general not not really. Because we just have to make sure that only one miner works per level, but that's like a little list or a field per level for the assigned miner and telling you you can't assign more than one miner per level or something like that. And yeah, then or we need just one miner per level. No, exactly. One miner per level, exactly. That's the idea I'm having. It would be very easy then. That would be pretty easy to realize. And then I would make it probably building level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Each level you can have one miner. But you need also as many death levels yeah. as building levels to higher. Maybe you could make a research to double that up to 10, maybe. Oh, I got a bunch of sandstone, so I'm going to drop that off up here. Oops, that was sand. Okie dokie, and did our, what did our builder start working on now? Let me check on that. Jenny, now Everly, what are you working on? University now. I guess you're still mining <laughs> stuff for the university. Let me get a bunch of that sandstone back. I can start. Oh, the university is going to take so long. So yeah. long. Maybe we need uh, two more builders. Okay, I gave her already 1,400 sandstone. <laughs> Doesn't she have enough yet? No. Nope. Uh, what else? I'm going to make. A little bit of, of the other things, some slabs, some stairs now. We have the stone cutter for that, right? I'm going to get a stone cutter for that. I'm going to make a bunch of stairs. So she can at least start working on it. And not going to be stuck like the other builder. That furnace is so slow, really. Let me. Um, cobblestone. Do I have some? Uh, 
Okay, I'm going to... I'm, I'm losing my patience. This is going to be faster. Oh, I didn't hear about th those kinds of neat side effects of Terraforge yet. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see that either. Yeah, place down a bunch of more furnaces. I'm going down now the mine, and I'm going to get a bunch more coal as well. Meanwhile, I'm going to. Stay. I'm going and to... if you get lost, you can teleport up. Yes, I do have the item for that now. I'm planting some potatoes for ourselves. Yay, potatoes! <laughs> because we are really low on food. We're really low on food. Talk about it. Um, that was my hole. Let me see if there's no coal here on the way. Coal or there we go. Because I need some torches first because I can't see in the dark obviously uh, there we go you, you've got optifying you basically need one torch exactly exactly yeah, but I didn't have any torch ah that's great then take one off the wall somewhere true I could have done that too but I wanted coal anyway so looking for coal kind of made sense I'm gonna I think that's where my tunnel ended, yes. Iron ore. Because we can eat a bunch of that one too. Always. Always. At least once we start building rails. Uh, yeah, for all the barracks, etc. Going to be super useful. Actually, mine redstone only for the rear, for the experience. <laughs> yeah, I do it this way. It has so few uses. Yeah, redstone is one of these things that is kind of badly planned, also. Yeah. It's kind of, you only need it for making big farms. Yeah, but also not such huge quantities. Yeah. Can they put I re redstone on my tool? I don't think so, right? No. It's good for some researches though at a university. That one, I know. Yeah. Yeah, university research, yes. That one, definitely useful. Gold? We don't have any anymore, so... Yes, take it. What happened with our gold? You can trade it for emeralds. Ah, okay. I get it. I use that gold to unlock the upper trade. Ah, nice. So you did do that in vanilla even? Yeah. Completely valid, not with any sheets or so in survival. Um, more gold. More iron. I'm finding more iron and gold than than coal at the moment. It's it's Murphy. Murphy is always with me. This phosphorite stuff. It's usually I nice. Think next thing we should build is a uh, restaurant. Oh yeah, a restaurant should definitely be the next thing to build. I agree. 
and after that maybe deliver me and warehouse and yes. then two, two crafters, sawmill and blacksmith. I think. Yes, yes, I agree. Maybe a miner first. Yeah. yeah. We do need a miner to unlock that stuff at university anyway. Oh yeah. No, the cook in a restaurant can do recipes you teach him as well. Him or her. They can also do Pam's recipes. Oh, they can do 3 by 3 now? Yes. Nice. Uh, through the minimum stock option. Oh. It's because they don't have any other reason to request those. So if you set up the minimum stock, then they're going to craft those as well. Yeah. Or if you request it via post box, similarly, it also works. Can have your cook get you sandwiches as many as you want. Not particularly lucky with the coal so far. Not particularly lucky at all. What is this? Coal! Just now that I was talking about it. You need to complain more than it works. Yeah, I gotta complain, be ranting all stream long. All, all this time. coal and diamond that is not appearing and all that kind of stuff and then it works. Yeah, just wanted to start complaining about the lapis and it's here already. Got some topaz as well, yes. My inventory is getting full now, so I hope I won't get any. <laughs> um yes, nice. That's what that was all, yes. Um, we are working on my for 116, but in general, wasn't there a comment? <laughs> um, yes, it will be ready when it will be ready, and we're we're. Forge is not even close with their mappings yet, yeah, so brilliant. we are still waiting for that because I'm not going to do the work twice. I mean, Forge did, couldn't see it coming that they have to do mapping soon either. So <laughs> like that was very surprising, and now they are stuck and don't have mappings. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna lost here, okay. But it takes a long time anyway, so you get decent mod packs on the next patch. I, I like to be relatively er quick, but up to now, all the bigger mods are waiting for Forge's mapping. Yeah. And Giga himself is even waiting for his own. He ported the small mods that don't need any. UI handling and stuff, and the bigger mods, yeah. he's waiting for some mappings. I mean, it makes sense, it's so much more work without. Um, the test, you tried it from Curse? That sounds weird, because it worked pretty fine for me. Um, the Mine Colony is official. Did you search for Mine Colony is official? Or did you search for Mine Colony's test pack? Because we have a bunch of different packs and it might be a different pack you were trying to download. Mm, there we go. Is there an issue to upgrade a tavern? Make citizens happy, I think? Um, worker levels. 
Uh, worker level caps. It looks much cooler. That is always a good reason to upgrade anything. Yeah. I mean, that's why we do certain upgrades here. Um. Iron ore. There we go. And with the level 3 tavern they get a green housing marker as well. Yes. I wonder if I should make the recruitment on level 1 or 2. I would potentially make it level 2. Actually I do have some stat scaling for building levels so... Yeah I guess I leave it at level 1 and let it scale up citizen stats. That's also a good option. Diamonds, nice. Usually always good to mine a little bit around. Without diamonds? God damn it, I spent hours mining and didn't find any. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Period or? Okay, one more round, and then I'm going to teleport back to the base. Yep, fine. Take the waste down, we gotta run the stack. Death colony. Okay. Now he ordered them. Sixteen. 16, 15, 15. Let me just sort in the remaining things. This guy said when I just right clicked the controller. Ah, nice, it sorted everything yeah. in. Anything connected to the controller? Is everything connected here? No, just the downstairs stuff. Okay, good. Might not want to put anything else. With 18 diamonds, that's not so bad. Yeah, it's decent. Um, Too bad our citizens can't use diamond yet. So we got some more sandstone. One, two, three, four. Putting that in each of them as well. Four, four. There we go. Let's see. That builder's... We're getting there. It's only 200 missing now. And all the yellow banners. We don't talk about yellow banners here. <laughs> <laughs> and what happened with the yellow carpet? Did you lose all of the yellow carpet? You only need a hammer and some Yep, stone. he lost the yellow carpet. Oh yeah. Okay, uh, you you need to fix it. <laughs> I I don't know what is causing this. I can't reproduce this. Yeah, me neither. I tried it so badly, and I can't for the sake of it reproduce this problem of citizens losing of the builder using losing resources I kinda think it is due to some inventory mod or so because I can't reproduce mm. it in we didn't have this on the other server, right? We never had a problem with that. And I can't reproduce it in a de development environment. I mean, we can put some extra debug stuff, like... Uh, ...checking the whole inventory after inserting. 
I, I'm not sure true. what what could be causing this. Yeah, I'm not sure. So it's getting fairly late again. We're wow, well, we're two hours running. I wanted to only to do an hour and a half. Um, thanks everyone for tuning in. Our colony is progressing. We got the town hall finished. We got an ah. Who is running ha havoc here? A skeleton. Die! What are you doing? Skeleton in our tavern. Killing people in our tavern. I don't believe it. That's not nice. Um. Thanks everyone for tuning in today. We are going to be online tomorrow probably again. Uh, thanks everyone for tuning in. Um. If you want to support us, don't forget to follow us, um, subscribe, become a Patreon. There are many ways you can help us continuing and supporting this development of this amazing little mod. Um, thanks everyone for tuning in. Thanks to all our subscribers and Patreons that are supporting us for many years already. See ya, good night. Until tomorrow everyone.